So I'm an obesity physician. This is a medication that is a useful tool for people who have either type 2 diabetes or obesity, both of which are chronic medical conditions. These are diseases that have physiology that warrants treatment. And Ozempic is uh, a, a medication the other name for it is semaglutide, and semaglutide is a very good medication for treating diabetes and treating obesity, but it's not used as a short-term uh, quick fix option. It is used to treat chronic conditions in a chronic manner. I guess what I'm getting at is, could it be dangerous if someone is taking Ozempic, but without the proper guidance or perhaps even the necessity to, to be taking this, this drug? Well, number one is it hasn't even been studied in this population, right? So it hasn't been studied in people who don't have diabetes or obesity. So we don't know. We don't know what it could be doing in um, in people who are just using it to lose the last five pounds or fit into a size two instead of a size six. So that's the first thing. The second thing is there are side effects associated with this medication. Generally, they are fairly mild GI side effects that can be well managed when the medication is used in a supervised fashion by a, a, a medical um, professional who knows how to prescribe these medications. I think that there are bigger risks like the effects of weight cycling long term. So we know that people who weight cycle, that has detrimental effects on cardiometabolic health long term. It can make it harder to lose weight in the future. And so if we're using it as another thing that causes short term weight loss only to then cause weight regain because people are not using it appropriately, they don't realize that this is a long term drug, um, that's going to cause, I, I fear that that could cause issues, you know, 10 years from now for the people who are using it as a short term solution. So, you know, I think there, there are a number of factors to consider here. 